Hundreds of women work 10 to 12 hours a day washing bottles and applying labels in the Milwaukee breweries. However, their wages were just five cents an hour and they were left out of the local nine of the United Brewery Workmen. In 1910, Mother Jones spent a few months in Milwaukee successfully organizing the women workers, whom she called Girl Slaves of the Milwaukee Brewers. Local 9 began admitting women later that year, demanding employers grant them a wage increase to $6 a week, compared to the men in the same plants who earned $9. Following Prohibition, women began to find more meaningful work in breweries, including laboratory positions. By the late 20th century, while still a minority, women made up a significant segment of the brewery workforce. Today, there are several women-owned breweries and an ever-rising number of women master brewers in the United States.